Hey, do you ever get nervous, like, before a gig, like, before storytelling hour or whatever? <laughs> You're talking to the woman who turned a common pumpkin into a universally recognized luxury vehicle. What would I have to be nervous about? Yeah, but back before you were super famous, before the movies and the musical and the straight-to-DVD sequel... Careful, dear. We don't talk about those. Back in the beginning, when you were just you, was it ever awkward when people heard your story for the first time? All right, Jacqueline, what's this about? Today's story, it's me. <gasps> You're the fairy godmother in this story? Yes, so this is kind of my hello world moment. I might be freaking out just a little bit. Oh, well, uh, the best advice I can give to you is just to trust yourself, and the rest will work itself out. Cool, cool. So what does that look like exactly? Well, uh... Uh, you know, believe and what not. I think the more important question is, what does it look like to you? You totally just made that up, didn't you? Well, what do you expect me to say? Picture the cameraman in his underwear? That is gross and only marginally helpful. All right, ladies, we are at five till places. Thank you, five. Thanks, Producer James. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must go and prepare. Try not to be nervous, dear. Thanks. Super helpful. second thought, be nervous. Why not? You only get one chance to say to the world, I am Jacqueline Appleblossom and this is my story for the first time. Savor every moment. And if a little bout with stage fright is part of the experience, why not embrace it? This is your day, after all. You have every right to uh, freak out <laughs> if you deem it appropriate. I can work with that. Once upon a time there was a girl. She looked around and saw the world. Not as it was, but as she knew it could be. She said, happy endings or to give it. I'll build the world I want to live in. And if I catch a break or two. Welcome back, viewers from all corners of the internet. Welcome back to Jackie Appleblossom's Fairy Tale Hour. That's not the name of the program. But it should be. Just kidding. Sort of. Anyway, I'm Jackie, obviously. Hi. And the woman beside me needs no introduction, which is good because she doesn't have a name, which is weird, but cool. So anyway, you know her. You love her. Let's give it up for the Fairy Godmother! They're applauding in their homes. Surely. Today's tale has something for everyone. Mystery, romance, magic, adventure. Not to mention one of the best ideas for a do-it-yourself Halloween costume you've ever seen. After this episode, all the little girls are gonna be like, forget Cinderella, I'm going to be that princess for Halloween. Forget Cinderella? Oh, not what I meant. Sorry, Cinderella's awesome. Anyways, today's tale is titled simply The Bear. No relation to the 1988 movie of the same name, which, by the way, have you seen that film? I cried. It's beautiful, but that's off topic. Let's get this story started. Very well. Once upon a time, there lived a young princess who lived with her father the king in a faraway kingdom. The queen sadly was dead, as is the case in most of these stories and the king loved his daughter fiercely. My daughter. Father. My sweet little girl. 
I'm 19, Father. My dainty little flower of sunshine and laughter and music and whatnot. <laughs> Did you need something, Father? I just wanted to tell you that I love you. I love you too, Father. In fact, I love you so much that I'm going to lock you in this tower for the rest of your life to keep you safe. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, time to go do king things. But, Have a nice day. But, I love you. Lock her up, boys. <laughs> this turn of events made the poor princess very unhappy. <laughs> Fortunately, she was about to get a visit from a very special fairy godmother. Ta-da! Who are you? I am, wait for it, your fairy godmother! What does that mean exactly? I'm here to make all your dreams come true. Or at least to help. See, only you can make your dreams come true. But sometimes you just need a little help getting out the door and started on the path, figuratively speaking. Or literally speaking, as the case may be. So, what do you want? You want to get out of here and be free to live your own life, right? Yes! But my father's locked me up in this tower for the rest of my life! <laughs> or, at least, the rest of his life. Okay, so, tower, guards, overprotective dad, got it. So all we need is an extraction plan. Would you prefer to ride off on a dragon or a unicorn? A dragon? A unicorn? Good call! We'll go with both! You wait here, I'll be back in like slightly longer than no time. Presto! tyrannical father, uh, and she needs a taste of some of that nice, big, sweet, juicy freedom. Okay. I'm thinking, how's about I go out and find a salamander, and we turn him into a great golden flying dragon. Also, I've got this gift card for one overnight unicorn rental. I put it somewhere. Look, I don't think the dragon is going to necessarily actually... Is it too much? You're right. Her father's not evil. He's just crazy. Maybe something simpler. How about a flying shark? Now slow down, Jacqueline. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What is it? Is it about how sharks can't breathe outside of the water? Because I've totally got a plan for that. Ow! Ugh. I'm completely out of transformation magic. I won't have any in for the rest of the month. Out? I didn't think that sort of stuff ran out. <laughs> Neither did I, but... Look at this order I just filled. A pumpkin into a coach? Mm -hmm. Mice into horses? Assorted farm animals into servants and coachmen? Glass shoes? That poor girl, how on earth can that be comfortable? And it's all got to last until midnight. I had to use up every last bit of transformation magic I had in stock. So what are the rest of us fairy godmothers supposed to do in the meantime? I've got a princess who very much needs to leave town, and you're telling me you can't give me one single lousy flying shark? What about unicorn rentals? Uh, my uh, license in renting out organic life form is currently uh, under review. Oh, unbelievable! My first assignment and I can't even rent a unicorn for the poor girl! Oh, now, now, don't give up. We've just got to think, um, think outside the box a little bit. Come on into the back storeroom. I'm sure we can find something you can use. Come on. Right this. You like it, I promise. Hey, so I'm back. Are you going to take me out of here now? Yes. <laughs> Did you bring the dragon? <gasps> oh. Yeah, so about the dragon. Or there was... maybe it will come under cover of night. Or maybe I couldn't get a dragon at all, but I have a totally awesome backup plan. You couldn't get a dragon? Uh -uh. I bet you couldn't get a unicorn either, could you? 
Okay, so ever since the Second Great Ogre Fairy War, we've had to kind of ration out the way we use our fairy godmother magic. You don't have any magic? I do. I totally do. Just a very small quantity of magic. But only for the time being. At the end of the month, I promise that I'll come back. I don't want to be here for an entire month. <laughs> then, then you are in luck. Because I have a solution that will get you out of here and on the way to your happily ever after. Ramalama Onomatopoeia! What is that? That is your ticket out of this place. It looks like a wheelbarrow. Correction, a magic wheelbarrow that will take you anywhere you want it to go. And this? A magical bear skin? No, that was literally the last disguise the costume shop had available. Oh. But I know you, and I know you can make this work. <laughs> There's nothing stopping you, okay, a door, but nothing more to make your dreams come true. was on her way. The magical wheelbarrow bumped itself down the stairs, through the royal halls, and across the courtyard. The entry gate was in sight as the princess began to think about where she would go with her newfound freedom. Onward, good wheelbarrow! We're almost there! Stop! In the name of the king! Well, well, well. What do we have here? It looks like a bear out for an evening joyride in a wheelbarrow. Seems awfully suspicious to me. Speak up, bear. If you really are a bear. Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, uh, grrr. 
Mm, works for me. Yeah. Have a nice night, Bear. Hmm. What a nice bear. Yeah. from a nearby kingdom passed that way. It is bear season. You know what that means. Bear steak. Bear bacon. Bear jerky. Not to mention a brand new pair of bearskin jammies for my dear mother. The old ones are starting to smell. Aha! I'm going to shoot you now, bear! Oh, please don't! You're a talking bear? Oh, uh... I've never met a talking bear before. Okay, bear. I'm not... Going to shoot you. I'm gonna take you home to see my mom. Come on, bear. Let's go. Come on, bear. Hey, hey, get, get back here, bear. Uh, uh, bear, come on up. Come on, bear. Get, get back. Oh, no. oh gotcha. Look, look, you're gonna thank me for this later, bear. I promise. My mom's amazing. You're gonna love her. She like really, really good stuff. Like, stew. Wait, wait, one moment. Uh, Jacqueline? Yeah? I have a question. Hi, folks, I'm back. What's up? Why didn't the princess reveal her true identity to him at that point? Who knows? Maybe she panicked. I mean, the guy was pointing an arrow right at her after all. Maybe she was afraid that he would send her back home, or maybe, just maybe, it was true love. With him? Why not? He's clearly brave, he's pretty handsome, he clearly has a good relationship with his mother, which is often an indicator He's an idiot. Look, the guy who spent all night dancing with and talking to your homegirl and yet could only recognize her by the size of her foot wasn't exactly a Rhodes Scholar either. You make an excellent point. Oh, bless him. He was a special young man. At any rate, the prince took his new talking bear friend home to meet Mama. Mom! I'm home! Well, that was fast. Did you shoot anything? Oh! Oh! Edgar! Why would you bring a real, live, living, breathing bear into our home? But Mom, it's not just any bear. It's a talking bear. It's not talking. But it can. <sighs> or it did. I think. <gasps> hey, hey, where, where are you going, bear? To our kitchen. Hey, you, you get out of my kitchen, bear. You, out, out. Doing the dishes. Huh. There is a bear in my kitchen doing the dishes. Oh, we are keeping this bear. Yeah. And so they kept the bear, and it kept doing the dishes, and they all lived happily ever after. Wait a minute. Just kidding. That's not how the story is. You're darn right. What if there are any fairy tales that end with, and the princess did the dishes for the rest of her life? Well, you know, I've known a few princesses who deserved that ending. So the princess decided to continue being a bear and helping with the housework, and the queen loved her, but the prince eventually got really sick of having a bear around the house. Hello, bear. Would you like to try a cookie? Yes? Well, that's 
because I like the bear more. Aww. Mm. Here you go. <laughs> Dumb bear. I should have left you in the forest. Then, one fateful night, the prince was headed to a ball. All right, Mom. I'm off to the ball. Okay, now you be safe, have fun, and find a beautiful princess to marry. Jeez, oh, Mom. <laughs> Quiet, you. Ta-ta. <laughs> that any princess would ever marry him. Mm. Sweet kid, good provider, good son. Not a lot going on up here. Well, I am off to bed. You be a good bear now. <laughs> himself surrounded by a small mob of eligible princesses. <laughs> Why do all of these princesses always want to marry me? <laughs> Dance. They haven't started the music yet. <laughs> oh. And she did take that dance. And the one after that and the one after that. <laughs> Until finally, when they grew tired of dancing, they sat and they talked. Well, she talked mostly and he listened, enchanted by the sweet sound of her voice. Oh, I bet she had a lot to say, considering she hadn't said anything but grr since they first met. I had a really lovely time this evening. So did I. You're an excellent dancer. You're pretty good yourself. May I have your name? Uh, my name is... What's that over there? Over where? Uh, let's see. I see trees. And rocks. And obnoxious girls. Princess, I don't really know what you're looking at. Uh, princess? Princess? Dream girl? Mom! Mom! Get out of my way! Mom! 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 I just danced with the most beautiful girl I met her, and we danced all night, and it was fan freaking tastic. Oh, well, great, great. What was her name? I don't know. <sighs> Typical. <laughs> Quiet, you dumb bear. For months, this continued. The prince would go to the ball, the princess would follow him, they'd have a lovely evening together, and then she'd make like a banana and split. It was beautiful and exhilarating, and yet, 
unfulfilling. My heart is aching, my baby just runs away. It just runs away Don't know what I gotta do To get my baby to stay Oh, ain't that a shame, shame Running for the front door Before I ever learn her name They say any fool can get married Well, whoever they is They haven't met my son My boy is lonely But he just ain't too bright away again I will simply spend the rest of my life looking for the girl who is wearing my ring and then I will marry her is that the full extent of your plan son yep well it will get you out of the house <laughs> good luck dear The prince and the undercover bear danced all night long that night. to do is to journey to the next town 
and examine the right hand mm -hmm. of every girl that I see. Oh. And the one that's wearing my ring is the mystery girl. Okay. <laughs> Quiet, you. And what if you don't find her? Then I'm going to journey to the next town, and I'm going to do it on the next day. And then the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. Well, that, it, it after seems that, like an awful lot of trouble, that, son. It seems like an awful lot. But, Mom, she's worth it. <laughs> For the last time, Bear, I said be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> conversation this would end up being, but I... You want to marry me? Uh-huh. And they kissed. Hey, come on, give the kids some privacy, seriously. If you must keep filming, let's put the focus on a character who rarely gets the recognition they deserve. That's right. The very happy mother-in-law to be. Congrats, Mom. Thank you. you. transformation magic all those years ago, I really had no idea. <laughs> well, maybe you did go just a tad overboard. You know, if you had used an actual cart instead of a pumpkin, it would have been a third of the cost. Plus, it would have kept rolling after midnight when it turned back. Yes. Well, I'll be sure to consult you next time before I make my client's dreams come true. Of course, if you suggest a magical wheelbarrow and a bear skin, I'm going to ignore you. Hey, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> nice job, ladies. Nice show. Oh, hey, I just wanted to give you a heads up. The first episode of the show is not doing quite as well as our backers were hoping. Well, it's a brand new thing. You gotta give it time to catch on. I know, and you're right, and that's totally fine. I just wanted to give you a heads up that we may be doing some tweaking to the show in the next few weeks. Well, what sort of tweaking? Nothing major. Just trying to find that balance between what we are and, you know, what the internet wants. We're just trying to keep an open mind. Might try some new things. You guys keep doing what you do. Just be aware. We may be throwing a few suggestions in there in the near future. You mean like puppets? That is possible. I am on Bored with puppets. We'll do whatever it takes, James. Great. Oh, and by the way, neither of y'all are allergic to cats, right? Good to know. <laughs>